Hi everybody, welcome to um, a, a new series of tutorials on Yonec Magellan 2. So it's exciting times. Yonec has released a new version of Magellan, version 2, and this is also a UV3 compatible, so it's, um, it's really fantastic. So let's start with this first tutorial to get familiar with the UI and the navigation panels. So here I just launched um, Magellan 2. So starting from the top left, here you have the name of the preset. So if you click on it, um, it brings you up a screen where you can select uh, a bank. <clears throat> and then here on the right hand side, you can select um, um, a preset. And also you have the ability to make the preset um, a favorite if you like. <laughs> Okay, I will go through in uh, more detail the, uh, this option in other tutorials. So, <clears throat> for now, let's uh, exit uh, um, the navigation or preset. Then, moving on, here we have the selection of bit per minute. So if you click on it, uh, you can uh, uh, change it up and down. Or you can double click to tap what your desired um, setting would be. Okay. Then here we, you have a selection for the synth, which is what you see here. This sequencer with four track sequencer, the effect, and uh, for each of the section you can scroll down, like so, which is really cool. So the sequencer in this case. Then you have the spawn mode. Uh, which is the artificial intelligence implementation of Yonek uh, uh, or Magellan to um, modify or create from scratch presets. So it's, um, it's really cool. You have a preference buttons, uh, which gives you the ability to uh, select different settings for your MIDI in, out, etc., etc. Here is where under advanced MIDI settings you find, for example, your Bluetooth MIDI. Important list for me to connect to my keyboard. Uh, you have your tape, uh, if you want to load the file, import it and play it around. Uh, you have the ability to activate or deactivate the keyboard, as you see at the bottom of the screen. And then you can go on to the store to buy additional presets. Let's go back to the synth. Um, here you have um, a number of subtabs. So here you are on the oscillato, your filter, uh, frequency modulation and amplitude, LFO1, to your envelope settings, your control and XY um, <coughs> pad here. Um, and then we have the arpeggiator and also your chord makers. You can also move between these different subtops under the same for just uh, holding and scrolling up and down like so. And as you can see, he's moving up into the oscillator. Here on the right hand side, you have um, your uh, X, uh, Y pad with your volume setting and your uh, FX um, uh, settings. Here you're changing by default uh, um, on the X, the resonance on the uh, why the frequency then moving on on the bottom you have your uh, pitch um, um, wheel as well your modulation wheel here you have your standard keyboard you can select to hold the keys you can select to enable the arpeggiator if to have a polyphonic or monophonic if to have legato or not and as you can see, it's changing right here as well as I'm changing on the keyboard. If I want to have the mag touch settings applied, and uh, this particularly is useful when you have the MP controllers. <coughs> uh, your prefer preferences, which we will look at uh, in another um, uh, tutorial. If you want to make your keyboard taller or smaller. And then if you want to activate your XY pad or not. And then here you have a, a symbol to lock the scrolling. So in this case, it's a lock. So you can move uh, um, the keyboard at your leisure. 
So I hope um, this will do as a first tutorial, just uh, an introduction how you can navigate uh, um, within Magellan 2. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll start to go into each different um, sections of the synth starting from the oscillator. Thank you. Bye.